I thought green meant go, not red means start. Red, red, what's happening, y'all? Right, what's, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Yeah, yeah. King of the round table. We back in here. Back in the house. What's up, baby? What's happening? Yeah, what's up, K? What's happening? We up. What's happening with y'all? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we uh, How was y'all week? Man, my week was lovely. Okay, I made it to the weekend, so shit. Uh -oh. <laughs> it made, was, it to, made it to Friday, huh? It was yeah, exuberant. Man, it was exuberant. <laughs> exuberant. <laughs> but yeah, we here, kings at the kings of the round table. We uh, you know how we do it. We got these questions in this bowl. We're gonna go go up in it. We're gonna dig deep, but uh. Without further ado, catch Urban Solutions on Facebook Live, like we on live right now. So share us, I mean, like us, do what you got to do. We got the YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we on Sunday through Sunday. I mean, it's Friday now, but we'll be back Sunday. and got shows on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I mean, you catch Urban Solutions everywhere. And, uh, yeah, if you want to uh, send your music in, send it to Urban dot solutions fm at gmail.com where you can send your mp3s in make sure they hot and they mastered and sound good you know and send them in we're gonna play your, your music you know what i'm saying That's send right. it you know at the radio station but uh yeah other than that we got gears just you know we got the new thing apparel you get your gear it's a new thing at bigcartel.com and uh yeah and if you haven't voted Go to SeattleSoundMusic.com and vote for Urban Solutions Best Media Outlet because we're here for y'all, you know? That's how we do it. What's up, Ken? Well, other than that, besides uh, K Rams, RoadsideAssistance.com. Yeah, yeah, you can always catch me there. 253-217-1687. Get left to get there. We'll get you there. Trust me. Uh, other than that, what's up, B? Not too much. Not too much. We here. Support. What's the name of this magazine? Vibrant, Vibrant, Vibrant magazine. Support this. Yeah, Vibrant magazine. And if you ain't got it yet, support the Emerald City Street Life for Hip Hop Memoir. Go to my website, md2020vision.com, and just cop the book. Let me know if you read it, and, and we can talk about it. And drink but, more yeah. water. Drink more water. <laughs> <laughs> drink more water. I'm gonna get a shout out to this to this youngster. Uh, I don't want to say his name. Cause I, you know, I didn't ask his parents and all that, but uh, the youngster um, had one of my hoodies on. Uh, don't give up. I didn't in the school pictures. Okay, see that. And I appreciate that very much. That's what's up. It's been better in history of Whitman Middle School. Say that. Don't ever give up. Cause he didn't and we didn't. And we That's here. why we here. We here. So, uh, other than that. It's kind of weird not having the other people. Yeah, man. The whole thing. Like, they don't know like this shit. You know, they just couldn't get a ride or something. They, I'm jam probably doing some old freaky shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's yeah. we, we can start the show. Hey, we're going to start this real, you know, how we do it. All right. You want the first one? I'll take it. Take it. Why not? Take it. Take it. Here we go. Kings. Y'all ready for this? Why are we not good neighbors anymore? Why are we not good neighbors anymore? This shit, everybody living in apartments, they can't go out and play in the yard. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Everybody living in apartments. Yeah, man. They done took all the little neighborhoods away. Yeah. I mean, you still could be a good neighbor. Living a in good apartment. neighbor, yeah, your neighbor. Yeah, go and kind of borrow some sugar. Right, some yeah. sugar, some that coffee. That ain't being a good neighbor, that's being a Because even in the apartments, people don't know each other no more. You could be living next door to this motherfucker, like, five yeah. years, and you still don't know this person's name. Uh, that just, right. hey, how you doing? That's it. I mean, that's that's how it is, though, I think, nowadays. I mean, like, even with my neighbors, you know, I, I meet them. But I don't hang out with them or go over there and kick it with them. But I'll look out for them if I need to. It don't mean I don't like them. I just, you know, I do my thing at my house to be a thing at your house. I, I want to know my neighbors. Yeah. Because if I got to leave town, hey, keep on myself. Now that part is, yeah. Because, like, I, I want to know. So, so check this out. So when you get a new neighbor that moves into your block, 
Do you like bring us some treats and dessert and stuff? And nah. be like, welcome nah. to the neighborhood. Now, nah, this ain't the birds. <laughs> let me do the birds. <laughs> you know, let me meet the whole family and everybody. No, but I, I meet my neighbors, like the ones who don't even live in the buildings and stuff like that. Yeah, I always talk to I mean, you yeah, ask my neighbor. I, I talk to everybody. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's just me, you know? Mm-hmm. I want to know the people in the area. Right, right. Yeah, you want to know your neighbors, but when I was little, our street, we had a bunch of kids. Yeah. So the kids got to know each other and the parents had to get to know each other because the kids would be out there doing something, you know, we wasn't sitting or shouldn't be doing. So then everybody knew each other. But when you put everybody up in the apartments, people ain't going from the fifth floor all the way outside just to go see what's going on. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. I'm staying I'm, I'm staying up in the house. They can go outside and play. You know what I'm saying? Figure it out. But yeah, that's real. It'd be cool to know your neighbors. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Just like you said, just when I go out of town. But I live in an apartment, so yeah. I ain't trying to know none of them. Yeah, right. I, I live in an apartment too. Yeah, it, you know it, what I'm saying. But I, like I said, I, but I was only go three floors. Yeah. <laughs> three floors. <laughs> so, I'm on the fifth. You so, know what I'm saying? Yeah, but no, I, um, like the neighbors I grew up with, like around my, um, like the family home, my parents. You know, I still, I'm still really good friends with, with those neighbors and the families and stuff. Um, just last week. Um, my neighbors, his, his mom passed away, and so me and my dad went to the funeral and stuff. So I mean, mm. we still know our neighbors, but the house that I live in now, I don't, you know, I know the neighbors, but I don't hang out with them and kick it with them or talk to them and do anything. Well, why did with that them. change? Why did I that change? I don't know. I think the dynamics of people's life changed or something, man. People, the kids are scared to go outside and hang out. And, I mean, they don't want to interact with people no more. But that would be more of a reason to want to know your neighbor because, hey, if I let my kids outside, you know, hey, uh, Miss Annie might be outside with, yeah. with, you know, little man. And I know she going to watch out. Yeah, I mean, what I'm saying. so it just it makes me wonder what changed. Something so changed. Look at our neighbors, like shine in your business. You got money. <laughs> you we people? got pushed out of our neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you get pushed out, and you take, you know, my folks spend when I mean, you spend time learning to know somebody, getting right. to know somebody, and then you go to a different neighborhood. I'm not gonna take all this time and investing to get to know all these people, especially if I got stuff I got to do. I gotta go do this. I gotta go do that. I ain't, hey, how you doing? Right. That's about it. You just know, it ain't none of that. Just be cordial. Yeah, just be cordial. Yeah, you gotta be cordial, but man, I ain't think. Wrong with that. Yeah, we're gonna keep it moving. Yeah, love your neighbors. You know? Yeah, yeah, love your neighbors. Yeah, get to know them. Hey, be, <laughs> they help your neighborhood. So, right, you know what I mean? right. Yeah. Get Never back to watch. whooping your kid's ass. Hey, I, I'm gonna whoop shit, your ass, right. and then when I see I'm, your daddy, I'm gonna take your ass <laughs> home, and I know he gonna whoop your ass when he get home. Right. If I had a belt, I wish I could whoop your ass too. Right. Here we go. If Laura Harvey was your daughter, would you let what? 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 Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Lori if Lori Harvey, Harvey, what's that say? Was your Lori daughter? Harvey. Would you let Puff Daddy date her, and why? Is that what it said? Oh God! Who? Oh, you, you answer that because you're the man. With the right, you gotta answer that. Right. I mean, why would I give a fuck who Puff Daddy date, though? But if Lori Harvey was your daughter. If you're Steve Harvey. Right. That's what now that I, I mean, got you she? I don't even know she's Lori. Huh? She's, she's what, 19? Is she, she 18, 19, 18? Was she? 22. She's 22? Yeah. 22? Uh, That's a female. Uh, man, <laughs> that, that would be tough. I mean, because no. I got girls, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't know how to react to that. But, uh... I mean, she's an adult. I mean, that's a, that's just some situations you got to deal with. As a parent, you, you can't really, what can you do? She's going to date him anyway, whether you like it or not. It, it has a double-edged sword. Yeah. It might not Is be it creepy. Yeah. <laughs> it might not be morally right, but if, if you want to look at it as, well, at least you know she be taken care of. <laughs> right, 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 right. You see what I'm saying? But is that the only person he's dating, or I don't know. See, that's I what I'm saying. I don't know. Well, that's something I, to ask I think that's who he they're, they're settling down together because okay. he shook Cassie, and now he with her. Now, to me, it's kind of weird because she used to date his son. 
No, she that's the so, is all Yeah, she did today. You see what I'm saying? Puppy. That so puppy like, took his son's girl. <laughs> What type of shit? Hey, boy, let me show you how to do this thing some <laughs> Right. Let me show you how to really do it. But that means the whole time he was looking at her while his son was messing with her. Right. That's but, what I'm saying. It's creepy. That's creepy. That's, that's creepy. creepy. Because, I mean, come on, man. So when she was the under age. Because he's already on. Right. If he was under age. But, but see, she 22. <laughs> What but you still, gonna say? That ain't his you biological daughter. You can't really daughter. say nothing. I mean, as that far as his biological part, daughter. That's not Steve Harvey's biological daughter? No. Nah. Oh, she just took the name. <laughs> oh, that's Lori Harvey. Okay, that's Steve. Oh. Hmm. Lori Harvey. What does she look? Is she bad? I don't, I don't even know. She's Lori. a beautiful woman. Is she's she? Beautiful. But I mean, like I said, she's no. 22. What, what can you really say? Right. I'd Let's ask Lori. Lori, why are you dating Puff Daddy? I recommend. Call maybe, she, maybe she's sick of dealing with these little young knuckleheads. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that they can't hold a conversation. Right, uh, right. Well, it's they can't change hold. a tire. It's probably not gonna last anyway. <laughs> right. It probably ain't gonna last. That's anyway, so sugar you know daddy. Come on, man. Cut it out. Yeah, sugar daddy. We're gonna keep it moving. Sugar puff. Sugar puff. <laughs> yeah. Sugar puff. Sugar puff, daddy. All right, here we go. Here we go on to the next question. Which says... Where you at, Baldy? Yeah, Baldy, we need you up in the house. Where you at, three? Okay. How do you get the knowledge that you need? Take your ass to school. You, you get well, it from school? Well, it depends on the situation. Right, right. what type of knowledge? Right, well, when you start... No, that's my bad, it's on you. Yeah, well, like I said, it depends on what I'm, what, what the situation is, you know? It, it, it's uh, whatever. <laughs> like you said, go to school or read or shit. Do but both. Be yeah, yeah. I say read, but sometimes life's experiences is, I mean, that's knowledge itself, you know. It, it needs to be more specific about the knowledge. Yeah, it needs to be. But, uh, what, yeah, what type of knowledge are you seeking? Right. Knowledge to stay in trouble or knowledge to stay out of trouble? Right. That's so like, you know what I'm saying? There's two cons. Go to church. I brought up taught how to steal. Yeah. I was taught how to run. I was taught how to get over. I was taught how to be a thief. So you got the knowledge you needed? No. You got I, I, got knowledge, I got knowledge that I did. That, <laughs> you that I able, thought was right. You was able to utilize Yeah, it, I though. utilized the hell right. out of it. You know what I'm saying? My stepdad taught me how to work on cars. Right. And, and, and they taught me how to work a car, but he also told me how when I go, when I wake up and I'm eight years old and I look in the back and I got six, uh, 60 sets of tires, and well not 60 sets, but six right. different sets of tires on my back porch that are all right. brand new still with tags on them. Right. And then I go in my mom's room, there's two, three pounds of weed sitting in the closet. You know what I'm saying? So certain stuff, I got taught, you know what I'm saying? But can you pay me Yeah, That was yeah. knowledge, you know what I'm saying? How do I roll a How do I roll a joint at ten years old? Right, you got the knowledge. Yeah, I got the knowledge. Maybe yeah. not been the best knowledge you needed. <laughs> yeah, but I got some. Knowledge. Knowledge. I got knowledge. some. You know what I'm saying? So you I had to teach myself other. You know what I'm saying? Right from wrongs, but you know. Yeah. So, so it was like hands on knowledge. It was real hands on. Hands on, right? Uh -huh. When the police kicked <laughs> in my door, <laughs> right. and, you know what I'm saying? That hands on knowledge ain't no joke. <laughs> and they sent him to Walla Walla. Yeah, it, it, right. got, it got real. Right, right. Well, I mean, what? Besides history and read. Yeah. yeah. You know. Knowledge, um, is, knowledge is key, though, no matter what. Yeah. No matter what, if you're if you're not getting in trouble, or if you're in, if you is getting in trouble, if you're going to do the life of crime, do your, do your research on how much time your ass is getting ready to do for the crime that you're getting ready to right. commit. You know what I'm saying? And knowledge, if you want to be a smart and stay out of trouble, man, stick to the books and, and be smart. Don't do nothing that's going to catch you, send you to the penitentiary. Right. Yeah, you will get a lot of knowledge from reading, you know. And you can get a, a lot of knowledge from Urban Solutions, Kings of the Round Table. Well, we got to get some, some great story. knowledge at this table. All day. That's what knowledge. Anybody else on that subject? Man. Nah, nothing else. Moving on. Moving, Moving on. on. Moving on. 
So you it's right. on you. Oh damn again? Yeah, hey, this is three quick people. We going quick. quick. <laughs> right, she going fast. Let's break it down. We ain't got no uh, no rebuttals. Yeah, <laughs> we got to get the rebuttals. <laughs> if you were a black billionaire, I don't know why they put quotations in Jay Z. Yeah. Would you make a deal with the NFL and end Kaepernick peaceful protests? He ain't got that much problem. I mean, it depends on what the deal is. I mean, if the deal's going to make me money and, and it ain't got nothing to do with whatever, it's just, I mean, if you're thinking about money or whatever, then that's cool. I mean, you might as well make the deal because NFL make billions of dollars. First off, I want to know what team is for sale. Yeah, what team is for sale? Is there a team for sale? I don't know. Well, I, think, you know what? I think I think they're talking about him doing the halftime show. He, you know how he. How but he, they uh, said if he was a black billionaire, so okay. Oh, so hypothetically, let's let's yeah. say hypothetically, hypothetically, if you bought a speak. bought a team, right? yeah. would you as an owner go after Kaepernick? How long you been out of the league now? Like two three years, years, two and a half, three years. years. And there's teams who need quarterbacks. These guys is playing, man. NFL. Hmm. But then or maybe the, I don't know. I would. You would buy I'd a team? I'd give him a I'd No, I'd bring him in I'd just because. Yeah. Who, I, I, yeah, yeah, I'd bring, bring him, him in just because. Yeah, he should have been got a shot. I, I agree. Just think about it the fan base-wise. I bring in Kaepernick. <laughs> how many people is going to come to the game, and then how many people is not going to come to the game because he's there. It, so you think he's gonna bring that much controversy to to a team? He might look what Vic did for a second when he yeah, came back. I, I, you know I just what I'm don't saying? See it. I just think I bring. It. I would just give him a shot, just you I'd know, just shot. to see if you can run the team. Give him a shot, see if you run the team. Can you do what you used to do? Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Because I'm not. I mean, but that's one, two years it, ago, though, man. Right? You know what I mean? And that's what I'm saying because now. You know, the thing right. is that they said that too. How yeah. fast the can you move? Can, you, can you process? Because everybody got to remember being in the NFL is just not hike the ball, snap, throw the ball, hand oh, the ball. Nah, how nah, fast nah, can nah. you process stuff? I how think he's how smart fast can you break down what's going on? Oh, yeah, I think he's smart saying? enough for that. I don't know if he still has it, man, because two or three years out of the league, you know, the league moves as fast as yeah. fast. So that's what I would want to know first. Can you process what's going on? The way you used to. If you can't, I'm sorry, I can't use you. But it, okay. Your cannon, your even all if, that. Even if he somebody could, else that got a cannon. Even if he couldn't okay. play, at least right. bring him in to be a coach or a motivator or something. It could be a quarterback something, coach. Yeah, yeah a quarterback could, yeah. coach, something. Yeah. Yeah. Bring him shot. in just because they forced him out. So Somebody need to bring him in anyway. Okay, so back to the question. So you think Jay-Z, since he's a billionaire... He should go buy us, buy an NFL team, and bring Kaepernick back. By the time that happens, man, that'd be about six years down the way, man. So, like, <laughs> listen, <laughs> I think that question a little bit too if, late. It's I agree too late. With Brian. I agree with Brian. If right. you want to give him a shot, like you know, maybe a, a quarterback coordinator or something like that, then yeah, right. I'm for that. Even if a shot right now, I'm for that. Yeah. He could probably you play back. He if could he can't, play I think he could be a start. start. Yeah, KC there's, a couple could use teams, him. there's a couple of teams that could probably use him. KC but he needs to at least right come now. in. You know what I'm saying? He should have came in but the process, in the beginning yeah. of the season. Process he take that one hit, he might be done. Like I said, I, I think it, it's, it's a lot more. So I, I just want to see if he still has that. That yeah. mental. And all he you did see, was take that fire. fire. Yeah, you got to have that mental, man. You got to have that fire. That timing and everything. You know what I'm saying? want to get hit. Man, right, he's a football right, player. Right, when your back is turned, you gotta have that timing, man. Somebody coming, so you gotta move or throw that ball. So that's, I mean, this is a, a like, big process you gotta go through. But that's like okay, a boxer who been out, you know, ain't boxed in like what a year or two, and then they get back in the ring and they go. That's kind of different because you not really constantly. Not really because he's still and, fighting. And, and, I mean, he's still gonna get hit with a punch. He ain't been punched in the face for. Man, what, football, two years. though, man, you're not really practicing to get hit. Right. When you're a quarterback, you're more, you know, what I'm saying doing your reads and your throws and stuff like that, and you're running and you're, you're building your stamina. And boxing, you're you're getting socked. You but know what, what I'm saying, saying if you're stubborn. a football yeah. player, you're still gonna get hit. You're not. You gonna, gotta get hit. You see what happened right. to uh, what what, Tom so, Brady? He finally getting hit. 
Like I said, I don't know. I, I, I want to see how he can break everything down and process what's right. going on. Okay. Because I'm not um, saying that he can do it because I know he got the arm. I know he's yeah, got the legs. Yeah, he got the legs. But I just want to see how you can break everything down. If you can't, then, hey, I got to go for the next guy. Yeah. They won't even give him that option, though. That's what's what sad. Saying? Or, like, bring him in and he can help with some of these young quarterbacks. They won't even do that, though. Well, I mean, you know the game, man. Come on. We're not, we're not, we're not even going to go into all that with, with how they doing. Anyway, we're go say, Kaepernick, him. we know you got Rob. We know you got Rob. We know you yeah, got Rob. If, if, if Antonio Brown can do the little bullshit he did, man, come <laughs> yeah, on, he's man. he's tripping, man. He should have got banned. He should have got Rob banned for the NFL, NFL period. But uh, we going to leave it at that because, man, I don't know. I like Kaepernick myself. He was dope. Yeah, he, he was, was dope. dope. Yeah, well, one bad season, that was it. Right. Went to, we to killed him. Ball. Yeah, exactly. He went to the Super Bowl. <laughs> went to the Super Bowl. Right. Well, I don't understand. He did better than my damn team. <laughs> Who's your team? The Browns, man. Hey, the Browns. If, hey, the Brown I'll Brown. take him over Baker any day. <laughs> <laughs> Real I might talk. take him right now. Truthfully, way Baker been playing. Right. All right, we're going to go to the next question. Keep it moving. I don't know about this one, but why do black people put expirations dates on their music? That's a damn good that's, question. That's a damn good question. Why do they I put expirations dates? I always want to know that shit. I think because they always want more new music. They what? They want the newest and keep pushing. They want new music. They don't. They'll do a song today. And then tomorrow they'll do another song. They won't listen to the song they did today. They're going to be on to the next one and on to the next one. I still listen to my old school shit, though. Right. But but the new artists, they don't... So they ain't no expiration dates on the shit I listen to because that's all I listen to. I, don't I think to there is no expiration date for music. What I think it is, it's black America. You think, why it got to be black America? <laughs> because if you really think about this, everybody who was big at one point in America... Yeah. That we think, oh, they old. Oh, that shit they playing now is old. Oh, we, we ain't listening to that. Right. These cats are still touring in other countries. Yeah. They you still, see what I'm saying? Yeah. And they selling out. Right. The, about, why you think they still got money? Man, I'm about you to see, bring Slick so, up but here. It, nice it, goes, it goes back to, we're so saturated with so much talent here. And if you look to hip-hop especially, yeah. everyone looks to America for the next best thing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're spoiled. That's that we we're are spoiled, spoiled by the music. Spoiled. Yeah, we are spoiled with music because that's like Houdini and them is coming in a couple of weeks. To, to come. Yeah, Houdini. They got nice and smooth. They got slick Rick. I mean, all I these old bands. Check it out. And I listen to all Check my old oldies. I listen to some. How old many? School. Did y'all love Wu Tang Clan? Now y'all see y'all in the West Coast. Right, yeah. I like. Did you, I, I didn't, y'all I like didn't, him, but I did didn't love Wu Tang Clan. No, I can't say I, I love. Mean, okay, like that. now I mean, check this out. Let me give these Wu-Tang. cats like over in Asia man. still packing houses. Oh yeah, still. Man, they they gonna, they you gonna, see gonna, what I'm saying? They're so gonna, they gonna pack houses in Asia because you know they do the, the, the Chinese culture. That's my so point. A lot of but tourists. what is that telling you? 20, 20, 30 years later, they still selling out arenas over there. Here. They can barely sell out a club. That's true. It depends on who the artist is, though. Man, look, the only way you gonna sell Man, out I'm an arena say, in America, you better have a fat ass ticket like Jay Z coming, Nas, Wu Tang. Right. Right. Oh, this is a new summer jam. Oh yeah, now we finna pay to go see that. You right. see right. But see, man, that's like okay, these 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 old school artists who's performing in these like local bars and nightclubs. Just, I mean, they're still doing that too. But just what you said, though, you know, about touring, though, because I checked for the tickets on the Houdini and all them guys. The cheapest tickets is 40 and the most expensive ones is 100 bucks. Right. And that so ain't they, bad. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know how big the, you know, the joint is. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? And how many seats. And, you know, and who else is on the card? It's just Houdini, Slick Rick. Nice uh, and Daddy, smooth. Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. Nice and smooth. See, yeah. that's why big Daddy the Kane. tickets are what it is. Now, yeah. here's the, what I'm saying. So they probably getting. Let's say if it was Elton John by himself, right? Right. So what's the well, expiration hold on, hold on, date? Hold on, hold on. Right. Let's say it's Elton John going to the Tacoma Dome. He gonna sell that joint. He out. gonna he sell that joint. That. Out. He sold that joint out. Now he just Jay Z go to Tacoma Dome. I bet he won't sell it out. 
gonna say I'm that. I'm not gonna say so that. So it goes back to why is our music always like, yeah, now you're old, you're corny now, and Man, I, Jay, everybody it, else. Now for the it doesn't have, have that inspiration to fill up. Yeah, but well, see that was pop, right? But Man, if Jay Z come out here, inspiration day, fill up. I think you're gonna fill up. Jay gonna have to come with somebody. No, because I think it's too much mixed people. It, 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 it's too much mixed people with, with Jay Z. Can come with Beyonce. Now, if Jay was in a height, yeah, he'll probably sell it out like this. But now, no. Jay, I don't, I can't see Jay selling out the Tacoma Dome. Really? I can't see it. No. Okay. You see, but it goes back to the question: it's Why that is it that is over? I don't think. I mean, I just think people want to hear new music, and they just be like, the the artists want want to just put out more music. I think but but the the people they gravitate to whatever they like as far as the artist because after the first album the second album they might come out with a few more albums and they might be done so you're gonna have to like the first album you know, I the mean, first album is usually the best album yeah and so you're gonna have to I just think we have become so biased and want to be picking sides so much now that that's the problem hey what's up you see what I'm saying because if you think about it well. He ain't with this person no more, and I ain't. I don't like that person really no more. Right, right. You know, so, oh, you see how he did Dame Dash, and like, nah. Uh-uh. So it's like we we become biased on our own shit. With our own music, right? Which is doesn't make sense. It's so watered down though. So you know, there's but, so many different artists and so much material and so much new music. Before okay. artists would have to, I mean, before somebody put out a new song, it'd be like a year or two before they even come out with another album. Probably five See, years. That's what I'm saying. That we're yeah, so they run out for so five music, years, and they go come out with a whole new album. We got so much music we can turn to now. Yeah, you can put out a whole new song, a video tonight, and then do the same thing tomorrow. I mean, the video saturated. 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 But we gonna keep it moving because man, that's deep though. I like that. My son of, just one of my sons just posted said, "I want a shout out for staying out the way." Stay out the way. I got you. Mr. Webb, yeah. uh, I'm proud of you staying out the way, taking your ass to work, getting your own shit. I thank you and I love you. Right. Well, for you. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love the Kings of the Round Table. This is how we're going to do it. Why do we not see more black men in construction? Mm. Why do we not see more black men in construction? I know some black men who's doing construction. I know some but black doing men who construction. own construction. Yeah, they're still doing construction. See, but I don't see a whole lot of them. Like, I mean, there's thousands of jobs out there doing this. Every time I go past one, mm-hmm. you know what I see the brothers doing? What? Holding up a sign that's saying "stop" or "slow down." If not, they're picking up shit, which is the laborers. You see what I'm saying? I don't see him on the the, the, the motherfucking uh, 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 they may be afraid of heights. They may be. Yeah. I don't He's see him in the planes. So I don't know. see him in the back holes. I don't see so him in the, the bulldozers. I'm like, I don't even. I barely I I see him in the dump trucks. I see some in some bulldozers, but I ain't gonna like, say I seen a whole group of them. Like, bro, like, like, I, I see like one. You I should take a picture of that shit. I did like, too. Where are the brothers at? Yeah, they, I mean, a lot, I, I think the labor is just like something that cats really ain't trying to do, man. Who wants to, you know, bust, ass bust concrete with their bare hands? And, and, but and that ain't just construction. <laughs> like, what are you saying? <laughs> man, I know, I know, this lady, I know this lady, though. I know this lady. You know what I'm saying? She, you know what I'm saying? She a black lady. Yeah. She, she helped build the tunnel, and she's building, helped building the... Uh, the light rail out there by Northgate right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? What is she doing on there? I don't hell if I know. But I know she helped, you know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? But I've, I've seen her post pictures of being in the tunnel. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. I don't know if she's sweeping or she's cleaning or she's lifting or she, what she's doing. See, I don't see the brothers but, in London. But so I mean, I've seen some she, brothers. But she's in it. You know what I'm saying? And now she's building the light rail, you know what I'm saying, out there by Northgate. And she got a crew, right? Yeah, she's with the same crew every oh, day. So she you know yeah. yeah, she's there. So I don't know, you know what I'm saying, exactly what she's doing because I ain't sat there and watched her. But I've seen her, you know, pictures of, you know, being in the tunnel before the tunnel was being built. Man, right, right. Down downtown there, you know all the saying? time, bro. I see a lot of uh, Spanish folks. Yeah. yeah. I see a lot of white folks. Right. I do not see a lot of brothers. 
Right, because they on the outskirts getting the like outskirts contract. Now, if it was, uh, like I said, now if you're on the bottom, you know, picking up shit, cleaning up, I see yeah. that. If you got a sign, I see that. You hold your but sign. going up there being uh, iron steel working and all that shit, man, I don't see that shit. I don't mm-hmm. ever see that. There, there's a few. I mean, I can't see. Spring, I can't see. It's a sprinkle. Yeah, it's yeah. A, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one on every floor or one out of the whole crew. That's the there is a, hey, but I, I did but see. I'm wondering, like, yo, cause they don't get the big there. contracts, though. I don't think. I don't the think they get there, the, so the, the like, good what, contracts. Why don't they? I don't think. I mean, I don't think they're getting the right contracts. I don't think oh, they start acting like the, the dude yeah. in the one movie. We flipped out because or black folks said we built this fucking country. We ain't building shit. We ain't building nothing. We ain't building nothing else. I don't pick no. I ain't doing nothing. 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 But at the same time, there's not really a lot. The unions is yeah. Yeah, getting in. Sometimes they be at. Sometimes that's, that's they be, like that. Uh, no, I have showmen too. But check you don't this see out. a lot of brothers down on them long showman jobs. Right, but check this out, bro. Mm-hmm. I've known people who've been to the union and they sat there all day and still didn't get picked up for a position or a job. And so then, they the go, then, they go, no, then they have to go. Then they have to go. The long showman no, no, I. Mm-mm. Then they have to go in every day. I got but my, my uncle was down here. My cousin's down there. My other cousin is yeah. down there. My son would have been down there. My other son would have been down there. And my nephew would have been down there. Okay. Them three all names got pulled, but they wanted to go get in trouble. So I'd have had six of them down there. Yeah, so yeah. That's all about who you know. Yeah, to get in there. Yeah. See, that's crazy. Who you know. Yeah, the longshoreman is a who you know. Because they do a lottery. Every once in a while, and they pull your name, and then you got to take the card, go put the card in the mail, and they call you, and they get you sent down there. Right. My son was in it, but he couldn't get his license, so he didn't get in it. My other son was booked at the time. Damn it, you should have told me. I would have went for my other, my <laughs> other son. My other son was booked, too. So, yeah, you can get in on that long term. You can get in? Yeah, you can get in. Okay, red. Doing. I'm going for oh, the red. question? Are we going to keep this Y'all want anything This is remember? water. Fire war. All right. New question is, who do you believe in? Nice. Who, who do, do you, you believe, believe in? in? I believe in her. Okay, say that to you. She got my back. I believe in a couple of my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple. Not you. Who do you believe in? Yeah, you gotta believe in yourself. Uh, if you're gonna believe in anybody, either. believe in yourself. And I believe in my family. I mean, all my cousins, everybody. I believe in everybody. Shit, I give everybody a chance. I believe in you. <laughs> I know that's right. I believe in you. That's yeah. definite. I believe Both in you. Both further solutions best be the outlet. Yeah, and yeah. we really believe in you. Right. And you believe in us too all day. Somebody <laughs> said God. Yeah. <laughs> believe in God. Some yeah. people yes, but there's some people who don't believe in God. But I do. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, I'm gonna tell you, I know who the anchor tow truck driver believes in in his tow truck. <laughs> believe yeah. in your tow truck. <laughs> believe in that yeah. tow truck. Huh? You gotta have yeah. belief yeah. in something though. Yeah, you gotta have belief in something. I believe in high. Believe in high all day. Yeah. Oh, up? I believe yeah. in Annie. Right. We believe in Urban Solutions. Yeah. All day. Annie May. Believe it. to believe <laughs> in something. These questions is a trip tonight. Uh, my, son I said, my son me. said, I believe in patience. Believe in patience. I do. I dig I have patience. I don't believe in it. <laughs> right. You have patience? Yes. Uh-oh. You Here don't we believe go. in we patience? Get, we, we get to talk shit now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> About time. Here we go. Do you agree with Kanye West meltdown crazy or make sense? Kanye mother West. Sometimes Kanye makes sense, but it's just how he promotes himself and makes him sound like he's ignorant. But at the same time, I can't say he's speaking for everybody. Look at this guy. Okay, I'm ready for you. I'm ready yeah, just for let you. him go. Let him go. Right. 
But I can't, I can't, I mean, Kanye say some wild shit, though. And I think his last blow up was about him saying something about, was it about slavery or something? Or, uh, yeah. Yeah. Slavery was a choice. Yeah, sl- yeah he, said slave, he said slavery was a choice. It wasn't a forced thing. Something like that. I, ain't, I, I, mean, I might be adding that, but Kanye West, I mean, he was talking about um, white America, black America. He made a statement about um, he crazy. Jesus and, and a bunch of stuff. He, you know, he, he's making statements, but I don't know if people's going to follow he's not, Kanye. He's not crazy. I don't think he's, he's crazy, crazy, but people think he's crazy because of the way he be talking, and I don't think he's talking. I think, I mean, crazy. I you think gotta, he makes sense about some of the shit he how, said. How old is Kanye? Like, what, 35? Probably 30, 37. 30, something like nine. For Cocoa Puffs when he started fucking Kanye, with Kardashians. Kanye Kardashian. has so much money, that means yeah. you got so much time. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? To process, Kanye yeah. is now in this in this process of taking in so much knowledge of reading books, talking to people, finding out stuff. It's like a new like a kid in, in a toy store. They're like, ooh, 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 ooh. Right. That's Kanye right now. So he's, he's finding everything, himself. Right. He's fine. He's trying to find his voice. So everything he's saying right now, he's so hyped to get the word out. He's fucking it up. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, he because might. if you break down what he's talking about with the slavery thing, yes, slavery was a choice by consequence. Now, yeah, we all could have fought back and we all could have lost a lot of lives. Now, <laughs> then, uh, you know, the slave bass would have been like, we're not fucking with these niggas because these crazy niggas keep fighting back. We're going to keep losing. I mean, that's a big spew, man. That's a chance. You see what I'm saying? So, so I understand where he was going with it, but that wasn't the right thing to say. Right, right. You see where I'm going with this? So he's finding the words. He's trying to find what he wants to say, but he doesn't have the words yet. Right. It's like oh. a, a young pastor that's learning how to preach. But he he's not right ready. Words. He, he doesn't, he's not ready. You can't put a, a eight-year-old who's just now learning so, that's eager to learn and now say, now you take over the church. Right. He's so, not ready. You have to groom him. Right. He so has check nobody this out. in the room. So check this out. You so can tell by the word he's, he's not somebody. So he said room. slavery was Donald like Trump. a choice. He <laughs> said slavery was a choice. And it was a choice. But then there's this dude on the internet who was talking about uh, the people, like the blacks who's alive today who made it. Mm-hmm. He said he called them suckers because they should have died. They should have died but fighting. See, and there was but a see, now see that's died. another conversation we but should the have. People who I'm going to give you the quick rundown, real quick on that. Okay, okay. I'm just saying. Every every other uh, uh, um, pe- other people Raised. who was basically trying to be held in slavery, they fought like motherfuckers. Right. For right. some reason, black folks didn't fight like a motherfucker. Now, you look at the conditions that we was put into. Right. Now, those were the subjects changed, and that's why I'm like, we don't have time to be talking about that because that's going to go on and on and on and on. And on and on and you on. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm like, I know he's going with this, but he just said it the wrong way. I, I say, he said I it think he said a lot of shit the wrong way. Are you going a sermon in the middle of a bunk fuck easier when he's out there? Well, see, I'm, I'll tell you right now live on, hey, you know, on the air that Jesus, you pray I Jesus. don't even believe in Jesus. <laughs> right. You see what I'm saying? Because you got to understand something. Hey, Zeus came around with the same time the Egyptians and the Greeks. So when Caesar Chavez was in power, did you know? Would you would you pray to him? No, but you wouldn't. To who? Caesar Chavez? Yes, the Greeks. Well, the Greeks Romans prayed and to stuff. Yeah. Caesar, okay. He was around the same time. So you know the Romans that like, made up the letter J. Same time yeah, Jesus yeah, was around. Yeah. So it goes back to the people he was going, to, who he was fighting with the Romans and stuff. Would you pray to them and say, that's my God? No, you wouldn't. So why would I pray to the other dude? Yeah. So I'm like, man, see, this this is going too far. We go, this is going, going deep. off of like, 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 See what I'm saying? It, this is, is he the crazy or he not? Am I what? Is, is he, he crazy, crazy or is he not? Nah. He's not crazy. All right. Dude is not crazy. He has a lot of time. And he's soaking up a lot of knowledge right now. He just don't know how to express it. That's Give him time, and he's going to be all right. I think he's privileged and spoiled a little bit. You know, no, he, uh, he, ain't, he ain't. You got to remember where he came from. Nothing. He came from the hood hey, of Chicago. My, 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 cousin, on, my cousin Brian Miller says, Hell no, Kanye say crazy shit, but we're still a slave to the almighty dollar. So once again... 
Like, his last uh, rant that he was talking about was he not talking about he was stop talking spending about the money stop. on this stuff? We remember, true. He was, you saying, know stop, right. he was about saying stop that. spending money on uh, uh, foreign cars. On stop spending your money on high end clothes. Get you some start, land. Start rapping about so real about, stuff. Not gonna, rap about guns gonna, and drugs. How and all is he going to stop talking about spending money on high end clothes? But he wants you to buy that high end bullshit that he wears. That, but see, that, 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 who said that? Yeah. that's what I was saying. I'm like, remember, he was the uh, Louis Vuitton Don. Right. Remember? Now he was the best shirt. dress. You know, so <laughs> the he's waking yeah. up. Right, he's waking but, up. But still, I mean, I, I hear what he's saying. Don't stop spending your money. Spend your money in the black community or spend the money in your community. We don't do that. We spend our money everywhere else but in our own community. But he has his he has his own clothes yeah. line. He got his shoes. He got his albums. He got money. He got Kardashian money. He got his own money. So he ain't got nothing I mean, else to, ain't got to do. Nothing but, else to do. But, but if he, like I said, he's subliminally trying to tell you, don't buy my shit. Spend your money over here. Go to Kmart. Keep, if you keep buying this stuff, then who's at fault? Yeah, yeah. that's true though. Like, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Now he tells me he's going to spend their money. Like, yeah, 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 money. Yeah, yeah, I, I just think he's waking up. He's he just saying he just don't have to control with his word yet. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I can. So you say he's going to end up being a preacher? Probably. Do you see where he's going think with this whole so? Jesus yeah. thing? That's what it looks like. Yeah, I think he's about to go into the church. I think he's getting a little carried away. I think he's. But I ain't mad at him. Gimmick because with church is big money. Right. Right. He always got a following. He gonna bring all kind of members he, to his church he just to see him. They think he yeah, gonna be doing a concert. He's he he gonna be he doing a concert at his church. He, everybody <laughs> came out there for right. that. Right. I'm like, damn. You know, he he popped in like this is the same church, church where the, uh, the, the uh, <laughs> child molester uh, Eddie Bishop was at. Oh, no. Nah, Eddie Bishop. Yeah, this is the same church. Eddie Long. Eddie Long. Bishop Eddie Long. I think I got Bishop Eddie Long. You know what I mean. Bishop Eddie Long. Rest in peace, Bishop. Don't be like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Well, we yeah. all that so he gonna be shit. like Jim Jones? He was like, uh-uh, nigga, he was molesting boys and shit. I'm resting in peace. No, fuck Eddie. He'll be burning hell, bastard. Okay. Eddie, mm. Eddie Long. We're raping them little boys. We gonna go to the next question or we gonna keep... Nah, we no, good. Okay, we good. Next yeah. question. We got hey, that for burning hell. Get heated around here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. You bastard. All right, here we go. Next question. Who would be you... Oh my goodness, who wrote this? Tom <laughs> Twister. Who would be to the Hey, I'm gonna read I'm gonna read it like it's supposed to be read. Who would be you top three women you like to date? And they spell wood with an H. Uh, Wait a minute. <laughs> who would be your top three women you would like to date? Top three women you would like to date. Who's your top three women you like to date? I mean, so basically you're giving me a fantasy, right? Yeah, it was a fantasy. We on Fantasy Island or something? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, just tell me table. three bad bitches. Is that now? I don't know. I mean, is that present? Right, or is right. That, what are you talking about? Yes. Top three women. Famous? I don't get it. Is it your high school crush? I date chicks. Now, who would, like, who would be the, like the, the top date? three I would like to have together? You mean it might be trouble for this one? <laughs> it's like one room at the my baby time. mama, my woman now, and somebody else. I ain't gonna say the name, but shit, I'll be there. Okay. So it ain't gonna be like. So, they the three. They the three. Let's go. <laughs> might get in trouble. Oh, for that come one. on, <laughs> man. I, for, are we gonna go back or can we, you know, we I'm gonna say who? I'm gonna say who? Back back to the one. For, for me. See, I don't know these brides. Like, they might be You don't know who Marilyn like, Monroe is? Like, Marilyn Monroe. I know who she is, but I'm like, I ain't trying to. I like, I like, I like the date. Me, that's my one. Who do you like the date? Next question. Who's celebrity? Anybody. Uh, anybody. Harry Tubman. <laughs> if I, listen. I think Harry Tubman is the truth. Listen. A female person to me? <laughs> I won't. I can't. <laughs> Okay, okay, fuck it. Uh, no, 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 you put my feet to the fire. God damn it. You're my feet in the fire. You in the fire. If I would date somebody, like right. if I had my choice, it would probably. It's going to be some porn stars. Okay, let's, let's be go. honest. Vanessa Del Rio. Vanessa Del Rio, you know the house. Naomi Banks no. would be one. No. Oh, okay, now Naomi Banks. Banks. Check out. <laughs> I can't check it check out. Right <laughs> no, we'll check it out later. Is that cool? I'll check that out later. <laughs> um, check it out. Trying to think, who else right off the rip? 
Jesus. There's too many, Ooh. man. Yeah. Like, Somebody, right. whoever wrote that's this question, they need to be here to answer shit. this question themselves, man. All right, who wrote that question? Can I tell us this? Yeah, yeah, whoever wrote that, come in here, you tell us your three. No, then we'll have an idea of you talking about. That, that's got to be a three question. That That's a whole different show. <laughs> right. All right, that's the way love goes. Huh? I said, that's the way love goes. How would you feel if your woman joined a dating site? How would you How feel? How do I know? Hey, you went through a person, grabbed her phone, and broke her code. Right, I'm like, did I, did <laughs> I, did I and join the same Snapchat? Site? Did something? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe? But well, you and you the man supposed to answer. Right, answer this, bro. I answered it. Yeah. Without saying anything. Without saying anything. It's strangled. You're getting strangled tonight. Kick her ass. And if she fights back. I'll kick her ass. Maybe she's looking for right. like, <laughs> something for y'all. Like, you know, maybe she looking at like, like yo, she might we fight bring back. you another little chick for y'all. You know what right. I mean? Right. Oh, yeah. How I mean, do you we feel? have to have a sit down and have a discussion? You know what I'm saying? Figure out what it is. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing it for? You know what I'm saying? Well, why was she you if, trying to bring some extra income in the house? But if she in a relationship, why if she in a relationship, why would, why is she gonna go to a dating site? She already found the motherfucker that she's supposed she, to be with, right? right? But that's what I'm saying because it could be like I said, she could be missing something in her life. Right. She could be like, hey, the sex not good, you know, or the romance. <laughs> you're not giving me no romance, you know. Oh, so I feel empty, you know. It could right. be anything with a woman. So hold up, hold up, let me twist it up. A or little she bit. could be like, baby, I'm, I'm trying to bring another <laughs> woman home. <laughs> No, let me twist now, it up a little bit. Let me twist it up a little bit. Yeah. So how you gonna how you gonna find out she's on the side? That's what I was like. How am I gonna find? Yeah. Out? How we gonna find out? Hey, check it out. You start your own little profile and you doing it. You just happen to be looking and swiping and you see her name pop up and it's like oh shit. Well, I'm gonna look for one. Whoever he works up to no good. I don't know how you gonna find out. Right. Right. I don't know. That's Women are cheap better than us, so I don't know how you're gonna find that out. They probably so ain't gonna be on the dating site. I mean, it depends on what 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 type of uh, relationship you in. But hold up, it could be over. Okay, but if your woman was on there, right? Yeah. How did you find that? What was your ass doing on there? Sweep, yeah. swiping, trying to find some work, and next thing well, you know, you know somebody's out. Wait a minute! How that make you feel? That this is telling you. <laughs> Oh, she got to explain hey, this. Hey, but are you going to tell her or what? See what I'm saying? Like, no, you're going to make her show say show. Okay, so check this out. What if your, your buddy, buddy, found, buddy it. found it? And came and told you. You got to show me proof, buddy. <laughs> and he's going to be like this right here. You see that? Nigga, screenshot. Show me this one. She had a little thong in there. He showed me the screenshot. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to explain this time. <laughs> you got to explain this. Oh, man. Yeah, that's how did you find <laughs> out, though? It's the cold question. How did you? Yeah, how do you find out? Yeah, mm -hmm. but I think any man would feel crunchy if his girl was on a dating site looking for men. What was, and I she's mean, what supposed she to be with your motherfucker? Excuse my language, but damn, you lying ass. <laughs> you know, what did she say? Yeah, what did she say? Did she say something about the dating site? Yeah, that's what she said. She said she was looking for some dudes. She'd be like, well, how do you find out? Uh, uh, I just happen to be on the site. I'm going to see your, your profile. profile. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't shit. Hold up. Fucking sense. See, some of these questions don't make sense, man. But if you have $200, who would you pay to see? We just seen that. Did, did, we did just the seen day, that last $100. week. Well, like, quick, like, throw that out. Yeah. This is what we do. Uh, like, next uh, question. Like, that's the same <laughs> shit over here. Right. Now we go back to boxes or briefs and why. It depends on what day it is. Free ball. Free ball, man. Agreed. Agreed. All right. I don't like that, that, or that. But I wear uh, briefs and boxes. boxes. I wear boxes both. Boxes and briefs are kind of the same damn thing. No? I, just, Shit, I don't right. like wearing boxes because they show too much sometimes. I Listen, if I wear I some uh, the long shit. brief boxes, right. that's because I done ran out of boxes. I, I got to contain so I my put the brief thing. boxes on. So, next. Next, next question. Next. We are unanimous. That was quick. 
That's kind of weird. We going quick. Who asks about men draws? Right. That's kind of weird. Come on now. I think a lot of women is writing these questions. What would you spend top dollar for? What would you spend top dollar for? So, what would you spend top dollar for? Top dollar like what? I don't get that either. Where do a, you house. a house. A house? Definitely. A house. Car. Land. A couple brand new flatbeds. Yeah. Uh, hey, hold up, hold up. Back in the days, it was like, man, I'm getting some gold chains, man. I'm about to get me some rims, man. I'm about to get me a tight car with some beats. You know what? That's funny you said that, right? Because <laughs> before I got into my tow truck and this shit, I used to be like, yeah, yeah I'm going to get rims and this and this and that. Now right. when I look at that shit, I'm like, That's, are you spent your money on that shit? Right. I look at my truck, I'm like, yeah, yeah your shit got some nice ass rims and everything on it, but uh, I got something better than that. Right, right. This truck I'm in. Mm hmm. That shit ain't gonna make you no money. Yeah. Spend your top dollar wisely. I'm gonna spend my top Unless dollar on something stripper. that's gonna make me some money. Right. Don't spend it all in a strip club either. Just a little bit. Of, just a little just bit. bit. Not a lot. Just a little Not bit. Not here in Washington State because y'all full of <laughs> shit with this motherfucking strip club shit. Well, I can't even go in there and bring no damn liquor. You can bring Are you motherfucking out of your mind? You can drink some Coke though. $3. Are you out of your motherfucking mind? Five dollars a glass. I would never go to a strip club. Five dollars a glass. Drink some Pepsi. Hey, yeah, there's a deal. Yeah, listen, listen, I'm from the state. <laughs> listen, I'm from the state where a strip club you can hit one with a rock. Right. Okay. You think I'm gonna go to anybody's strip club and I can't have a drink? Yeah. Man, you out your rabbit ass. Don't, don't, don't spend your top dollar in the strip well, clubs we're out here. We moving through this. Ass and titties beers. Come on. Right. I'm spending on myself. Mm-hmm. And again, I just want to let y'all know we at Urban Solutions and we live on Facebook I, right now. I, don't mind I see a lot of people chiming in. Mind, it's a new thing. thing. It's a mind, new thing. Service. All day, Urban Solutions. Like strippers. Oh, my bad. My bad. No, Keep no, going. We need to interrupt my, my strippers. <laughs> your strippers. <laughs> strippers. Viber Magazine. Come on with the strippers. You can find them all around town. Viber Magazine. They got a real article about, man, my God, he's a real sure. DJ. Yes, sir. All day. Plugging it? Yeah, yeah. Catch Urban Solutions Radio. Send your MP3s to urban.solutionsfm at gmail.com, which is sponsored by It's a New Thing Apparel. Get your gear at It's a New Thing at bigcartel.com. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we got shows for you. Man, check us out Sunday. We got Deucey coming in here, man. We're going to be interviewing Deucey, man. That's going to be live. Man, and, and, and he got a movie coming out, so y'all might want to chime in, you know. And share us, like us. I mean, send some heart, something, you know, just subscribe, pay attention, subscribe, subscribe to the YouTube donate, channel, we got Instagram, I mean, we got a lot of things going on here at Urban Solutions, where we got solutions for your soul, so, man, that's how we do it around here, man, nothing but love, my man K, you got the tow truck, you need you need your, tow, your car towed or something, somebody come get you, man, right here, Rams Roadside Assistance, he'll come get you all day, man, you just gotta pay for it. And don't come if you ain't got it. So, yeah, don't no, call. No $20. Freebies. <laughs> no freebies. Ain't no freebies, right? Yeah, now. yeah. All day. But, uh, man, it's, it's been three of us tonight, man. But I've been enjoying myself, man. Because uh, it's a good time. It's different, yeah. Good time. Yeah, <laughs> but like I said, yeah. Moving. Rams, Rollside Assistance.com. Yeah. 253-217-1687. Give me a call. We'll get you. You know, we'll take care of you. They you got you. Blockouts, jump starts, tire chains, fuel delivery, and totes. We got you covered on all of that. All right. that. Oh, yeah. And make and make sure you know that. Go ahead. I just added the gas can to the back of my truck. Yeah, if yeah. you're in the north end, I will come bring you some gas. I will come give you a jump, and I will come move your stuff. He'll move everything for you. All you got to do is, man, call no, him. No, he'll no, move up. He'll pull up. Yeah. North end, I got, some, I got some jumper cables in the back, and I got a gas can in the back. I'm trying to expand. I need some money, man. Okay, say that. Say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and another thing, we're nominated for Buzz City Best Media Outlet. Go to SeattleSoundMusicAwards.com and man, hashtag SSMAS19. And man, vote for Urban Solutions, best media oh, outlet. Absolutely. You know, we we here for you. You it's know, crazy. it's crazy. It's our first year only doing it, and we already been nominated. We nominated, man. man. Crazy. We doing big things at Urban Solutions, and that's big solutions up. for the soul. Yeah, thank, big you. Up. thank you, thank big you, up. thank big you, thank you. Up. Big up. All right, all day. Back to the table. Drink some Next water. question. Next question is. Ooh. 
All right. This is a little deeper, fellas. Oh, we're going deep. Uh -oh. All right. Some people may not like this one. Uh-oh. Here we uh -oh, go. But I do. <laughs> <laughs> Should there be a limit for government subsidies and food stamps? Yeah. Ooh. Should there be a limit for sub subsidies and food stamps? You know, I'm going to say this, but I'm going to be mad after I say this. If you're doing drugs to support your habit, you shouldn't get them. But I'd be surely gladly to accept them. But, um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who got food stamps for sale? <laughs> I need them right yeah, now. Can't say that. <laughs> it, was, it was a car. They got EBT now. Yeah, right? yeah, it's yeah. But I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? If you're doing what you're doing, I know you pay taxes. We all pay taxes. Yeah. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We all out here trying to support ourselves, you know what I'm saying, and they get that shit and go do what they want to go do and live freely, you know what I'm saying. But, you know, they all should, anybody, you know, my job, when I first got my job, we got to get the swab, you know what I'm saying, we got to get the piss test. Yeah. If you want this free shit, she should either get the swab or the piss test or she can't get it. So, I'm just saying, do you guys think everybody who got food stamps is illegally using their food stamps? Not everybody. No. Yeah, because some people just go buy their groceries and they I run know, out. Man, they got to wait for the next month. So, I mean. <laughs> but that's not what the question is talking about. What's it's saying, saying, should there be, should be a, a limit, limit for government subsidies on food stamps? Yeah, subsidies what's the limit then? Yeah, just but everybody get $200. You got a certain amount of time. Right. If you don't get it done in a year, you don't get no more something like that? Yeah, I think, yeah, it should yeah. be. I thought they had a thing where after a while you got to go to, you got to go to work. You they just go ain't going to leave you on the system no, for a no, long time. No. You got to go to work. Man, you I think this lady good. come in my store, man, yeah. one day, man, had $1,100 in EBT. Really? 1100 in EBT. I looked at the receipt twice. <laughs> man. 1100 Eleven. Uh -huh. so I, get you I know they eating good. God damn it. Eleven hundred. <laughs> How many kids she got? I don't know, but she ain't See, had nothing. How you get eleven hundred in food stamps? But they do. That's the they point. Do. So uh -huh. that's my. That's Man, what we're saying. Like, Washington. I, I think. That, yeah. You think different states do different things for yeah. food stamps? Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. I honestly think. They now listen. Cut off. Here's the thing. Now, if you're an able body, then I think there should not be a limit to that. You see what I'm saying? If you're handicapped and you you know you need certain things, you well, know what I'm saying? Be that you you still you got your situation. I'm, I got you my hand out because I'm like something. you know what? I'll be, be you quiet. hustling motherfucker. I got my hand. But like I'm you know, there are something. certain people that cannot hustle, mm -hmm. that they cannot do anything. Then That's yes, they need yeah, those whatever. subsidies. They need that help. But the people who are able to get your ass up and go get a job, whether it's part time or anything, yes, I think it should be like maybe a six month limit. Then take you, then, and then you got six months off. But you what if then you can start back after your six months? Right. But what if the same yeah. person or the person they're the ones who's still on drugs and still selling their food? I'm sorry, say that again. The person, the the people you said who who's disabled or who's misusing or who's not misusing them, what if they was the ones who was on drugs or doing something with their food but, stamps? But you gotta if they're really disabled and, and stuff, and they just need money for their medication or something, so they gotta sell their food stamp so they can pay for their medication. Well, I've never seen well, somebody who have anxiety was really or something. down and out that needed that that was doing something like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not it saying happens. that that's not true. I won't say that it, that does not happen. Yeah, I've never seen that. Right. You see what I'm saying? The people who is really down and out and need that, they're not going to play with that. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? That's their livelihood. Right. You know, they can't so, get up and just be like, hey, man, I'm going to go get a part time, you know, because they are not able to move like that. They're not able to do these things. But the so, people who are able to. Right. Yes, I think, hey, get six months. After that six months, get your ass off of it. You got six months to get it together. Then after that six months, you going, you can do what you have. You can do you it, you know, fall. come back. But it, it goes in increments. You see what I'm saying? I, yeah, I believe that should be that should happen. I mean, yeah, there should I, be a cutoff limit. I mean, yeah, I, I it think, should be. There should I be mean, a cutoff limit, man. I mean, think about it. Six months, a lot can happen in six months. Yeah, yeah. but, you know but in it, two months, you can lose your at, this, at the end of the day, yeah. it's kind of like this, though. So I mean, you, shit, it be you, gotta use it, you gotta use the system to, to support you. And if that's what you're doing is getting food stamps and getting assistance. But we all and you're moving that up. person who was abusing it. Right, there is people who is abusing. You see what I'm I saying? I understand that. 
You I, understand that we're, part. We're not going to call but, that person by name. But what do you think about that? Like, I mean, come on, man. You, we I know, mean, it's this like, is our look, taxpayer dollars. Okay, this is a scenario. If I go to work and give me a job and work $12 an hour, $15 an hour or something, they're going to cut my food stamps. I need my food. They, they, so they, they, they so it's kind of like they're gonna try to. They might not want to go to work at that time, but but they're gonna work just. They're gonna find a way to keep to the keep food the stamps and, as and long as they the can. Food. Yeah, they're gonna find a way to keep okay. the food stamps. But you just said that you're working right. a job full time. I don't want to work because they're gonna take my food stamps. Okay, but you can't have it both ways. <laughs> right. So, so you're <laughs> working a job, twelve to fifteen dollars an hour. And they gonna, we know they're going to be like, you're making too much money. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll, wait a minute. Look, wait a minute. Look, hold on. Hold on. I, didn't I just heard you say no, that. No, no. I didn't want to say something real quick. That off. Right. Uh-huh. Go ahead. So, so, okay. I'm getting $575 a month. Now I got a job. Now I'm only getting $103 a month for food. I'm not going to work. You're an able body. I'm, I'm not going to work. I'm gonna keep that fire. I'm gonna keep on fire because I can get something really stable where I can just make it work. But some people can use it to their advantage. See, and that's why I agree with it. Nah, there should be a limit on that shit, man. There should be What's a the limit? limit? There should be a limit. Like, hell. Six I, now that y'all talking like that, three months. Three months. Shit, I'm like, no, for real? Man. Well, then they gotta reply again and they probably won't go to work until they go to school or do something to. Yeah, it's something. a lot of lazy motherfuckers, man. Oh, and there is a lot of lazy. I'm going mean, to say this to, 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 to If I can get a job, there ain't no reason why your ass can't Thank get a job. Thank you. Right. That's what I'm like, uh-uh. No, nah, that's all, you know uh-uh. what I'm saying? I'm going to leave it at that. If, if, you, if you can sit here and get your ass up and you say, well, hell, I don't went from $9 and now I'm making 12 or 15 Well, what is stopping you from going further than that? But we're talking about food but stamps. You, rely on you, food go stamps. From, you go from $600 so it's basically saying I'm, I'm, I'm going to diminish my stamps. self-esteem. For, see, for these food stamps. Some people do. Some people do. I can't do it, bro. Some people like, do. No, so they they people, like, it's I, that I, I, some people may, anyway, so I never did with Some people may to be like, you know what, if I'm getting this $500 in stamps a month, but if I work an a- extra hour over, I'm not going to get this 500 they going they not going to work that extra hour. I'm out of here. That's crazy. Some people's like that, man. I'm, so that means you basically <laughs> reducing your IQ down to this little bit. bit. Ooh, yep. Who asked that question? question? You know how people ask That's crazy. Free. To be like, oh, it's that free, means man. You, it's uh, free. You worth a damn. <laughs> you ain't worth a damn. You ain't worth a damn. But there's hey, people like that. Mean, it man. means you shouldn't say shit ain't about nobody. Like if, if Trump fucking everybody over, you should be like, okay, daddy, I'm with that. That's that's your daddy. But at, right. the of, at the end of Black the day, I'm gonna fuck I mean, you are. But at the end of the day, if that's what you're doing and not getting off your ass and do what you're supposed to do, you know what you should be doing? That's my daddy. But at the end of the day, everybody's yeah, food stamp great. situation is different. I ain't said that. I just said if you're able bodied and you're sitting around doing that. Right. Yeah, you see you what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So work. every time Trump do something, you should be like, that's my daddy. Or but, whoever's president. But I would like say that's okay, my daddy. Okay, like I said, you get six hundred dollars if you go to work. You might, you know, you might not make as much money. You might, be, you know, they taking everything from you once let's you go say to work. Your son, son came in to move in with you, right? And he's seven. Let's say eighteen. Eighteen. I can, I can. Real talk. Let's say. Okay. He's 18, 19 years old. Come Don't on plan on doing nothing. He's just gonna sit there and live with you. Right. You gonna continue taking care of him? Hell no. Hell no. But why not? Because, because this again, is the same hold scenario. Up, hold, up, hold up. This is the same I'm scenario. Being biased, I'm being biased because my son's 19 and he still lives with me. And so, I mean, I, like I said, I get, I get real personal with this because I did have food stamps and I was on the system for a minute and I was able to go back to school and I didn't want to give up them food stamps until I got my degree, until I knew I had a stable job, until I knew I was really stable to be like, okay, I'm done with this, I'm done with Section 8, I'm done with all that. But until then, I'm playing the game, trying to make sure, man, that food stamp's coming handy, bro. All right, what's up? Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, we ain't got nothing in the fridge, but I got a job. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I I got to be out free, but I got a job. We have to say this and do what we need to come back to. My phone is like Jack Frost. Big question. We're going to keep it moving. Big government. 
or small y? Big government or small government, why? What's the difference? We still got to live life. No, it's a big, big difference. Big government, small government. Mm -hmm. What's a big what government? Prefer? I mean, what's considered a big government versus a small government? Hi, Hitler. Big government is like all these things they have now. You know, they have all these, uh, um, you know, different, uh, what do you call them? Branches of these different things. And branches of government. You know, that, how they came up after 9-11, it was Homeland Security. It was yeah. NSA. And it's like, that's big government. They just keep making new branches. Yeah, they keep making new branches. So that's what there's, that's the question. Like, do you believe in that or you should they cut this shit down and stop it? Because with that, there's I mean, more money being spent. Right, but then that's like saying, okay, you get a new president in office. No, it's not. I, no, I'm just saying. You get a new president, he say we're going to make the government small. I'm cutting all these programs. I'm shutting down half the military. Right. So I'm not spending money over here. So I mean, and it's just going to be a small, secluded little group of people who's running the whole country. Or it could be a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of programs, a whole bunch of things. Well, if you know anything about the government, don't nothing talk to nobody. Yeah, they don't so, talk. Once again, it goes back to that's big government. And you see how the shit's working out for us. Yeah, government's so a fucked up situation. Does it need to be slimmed anyway. down some? Yeah. I can't tell, personally. <laughs> I don't yeah. whether it's big or small. Stay big. Man, um, I'd rather have it where, you know what I'm saying, our vote counts. Yeah. On everything, you know what I'm saying? And more people coming together than, than somebody on a higher up controlling everything we do. You right. know what I'm saying? I'd rather have it as, as, uh, well, more... More state small, wise, stable. Than, more state wise than it is. Well, see, with big government, what, what they're saying, like I'm saying, you have different branches of everything. Right. And right. you have these different branches of everything, there's nothing talking to nobody. Right. right. And so some people are getting done. Going. Like, let's put a prime example. Let's look at, uh, 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 what was the island that just got hit? Um, the Puerto island Re that just got hit? Puerto Rico? No, Dominican Republic. For the uh, hurricane? Yeah. yeah okay. the Dominican Republic? One well, recently. Think that all this shit, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Like all the shit that's sitting there. Even Puerto Rico, government. Puerto Rico. Right, that was Puerto Rico, the yeah. one who had all the water sitting there. Right, right. Okay. Big government. Now you got you got too much uh, 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 corruption now. This person ain't talking to that person because you ain't do me a favor. Now this ain't happening. It's like. But how can you not have a big government? You don't. They don't get along, man. Exactly. They're never so going to get the along. The question is like, do we need to cut a lot of this shit down? So everything can start working. Prime example, you look, you look, you look, not at, look at what our politicians is doing. There's cra this is crazy that we're getting political. We can't even get a bill passed because, well, nope, we don't like that person. Well, nope. But you think that's because of big government, or yeah. you think that's because people just don't know how to get along? No, it's it's too much government. It's too, too much, much red money. and blue, Republican, Democrat. It's too I much big government. And because with that, also, you got a lot of lobbyists. They allow lobbyists. Yeah, lobbyists and so all that. It's too much. And they're not politicians. They're just yeah. lobbying for what they believe and what they want. Uh, they just the money people. Give me give me a million dollars and I'll get this passed so, yeah, for you. It, I think it is. It's it too is much. It's all about money. You know, it it's always boils down to money. Yeah. It's always going to boil down to some money. Yeah, so I believe it's too much. It's too yeah. much. We need smaller. Who we'll asked yeah, that question? Yeah, that's state by state. Yeah. We, need, cool. we need smaller. State We're going to get through this whole bowl tonight. But yeah, I, I I mean, big government, small government, it's 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 all crazy. Last Make question right here. We're gonna go to the last question to keep it moving. We only got a so few more to go. So I'm gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna keep it moving. It depends. Hey, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it moving. It depends on this question though. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Do you think FaceTime with the opposite sex? Come on, man. Do you wait, think wait, wait. FaceTime with the opposite sex is wrong? Ooh. FaceTime with the opposite that me, sex. That hit home with me. I'm going to tell you right now that hit home with me. FaceTime with the opposite okay, sex. Okay, listen, listen, listen. That, that's a good question. FaceTime, like what do you, I mean? You know FaceTime with video talk. Yeah, you video yeah. talk, right. Uh, do you do that a lot? I just got to ask y'all before I start. Do y'all do I that? don't do it a lot, but I've been doing it. Like, have, have you been doing it with, with, like, when your woman is around? Like, you in another room doing that with another woman? Nah, I mean, I ain't. Would you? Would I? Hold up. 
FaceTime. We said FaceTime. Okay, oh, see, I get it. So, so, so no, 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 I got to process the question. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, okay, FaceTime with the opposite sex. Like, you just talking to another woman on the FaceTime. Like, nah, what's wrong okay. with that? See, but this is why I, say, I can speak on this for sure. Because if you're in a relationship and you're talking to another woman, FaceTime, and your girl's in the car with you, and she's like, who's that? And it's just like, uh... I shouldn't have answered the phone in the first motherfucking place for one. See, but some people, <laughs> they, they think it's very intimate, <laughs> but other people's don't. Right. You know what I'm saying? Me, I don't think it's intimate unless y'all motherfuckers over there trying to get naked on the phone and shit like that. On and the that video. can happen, though. Right, but if y'all just like, oh, what else? You know fantasy. what I'm saying? It can happen. Anything can happen. Right. You see what I'm saying? Unless you got a jealous ass woman, though, too. Yeah, she or does. Man. Right. Or a man, yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? I've, I've been in that situation where I'm with my woman and a female friend FaceTime, FaceTime me. Okay. Do you answer or you, do, or you don't answer? Oh, because she knew my woman. Okay, right. So right. I answered. Right. Shouldn't have did that shit. You should have answered on the phone, not on the, on the you video. You shouldn't have answered. Shouldn't have did that shit. Right, 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 right. Why? So, I thought I was like, well... They know about, you know, who I'm they with, you my friend, and blah, blah. Got home wow. Home Women story. take that hey. shit to heart. Why and and we the older generation, the young generation, how they going to deal with this? Because they FaceTime all day. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So Y'all yeah, got FaceTime. problems. I'm talking about my grandkids, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got Much problems, problem. young generation. Yo, Not FaceTime gets you in trouble. FaceTime will get you in trouble. FaceTime gets you in trouble. Only it can't get you in trouble. in trouble is my mama. Yeah. But some people just call you out the blue FaceTime. You got to decide whether you're going to answer or delete it. Man, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> decline. Decline. Don't do that in front of your woman to see what happens. Decline. decline. Do that in front of your right. woman to see what happens. Now, I bet you there's going to be some problems. Right. Yeah. If, if, yeah. I can see that happening. It, it's not a good Don't one. FaceTime. No FaceTime. Yeah, no FaceTime. No FaceTime. Mm-hmm. Right. Especially if you plan on keeping your relationship. Right. Yeah. No FaceTime. Now, you want to break up. FaceTime all, we are hour all day. day. And send me a to put on FaceTime. some naked stuff like some right. lingerie or something like that. We should FaceTime. Right. Why don't you get drop your ass real quick? We're going to go to the last question. Last question. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Woman claim to want a real man. Mm. Please clarify what a real woman is or wifey material. Marcus. What we claim to want a real man? Please clarify what a real woman is or wifey material. What's a real woman? Yeah, because they always typically want a real. I want a real man. It's funny because some people be like, "Man, I want a bitch. Man, I don't even want a woman. You know, I want a whole. I don't want a woman." Say that. Right. Some people say so that some though. People say that shit. Some like, pe- I'm just saying. Okay. Hey, I'm playing my. You know, I ain't being new but day. a real woman, a real woman. I mean, wifey material. I mean, I guess you just gotta be there for the person you want to be there for. I don't know. A uh, woman claim to want a real man. Is you want the man to be a hundred percent real man, or you want him to be ninety four percent real man because he might have six percent flaws, you know, that you don't know about. So I don't know. Uh, as far as what a real woman is or a real wifey material. I was married before, and I mean, I can't say that um, the wifey material was a wifey material. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I was married, and she's my wife, and I still love her. But I ain't gonna say a real woman. I'm gonna I say I want say a good woman. A good woman? Yeah, I would say a good well, woman. But what's that real? A real man. So, what is a real woman? A she real got, woman. I got me a good woman, so you know, understand what I'm saying. So, well, I, I can say a good woman, know. a real woman is a woman who ain't gonna sit here and worry about the minor things that's, that's irrelevant true. in her relationship. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? A real woman that puts her and her family first. That's you true. You know what I'm saying? Not worrying about the dumb shit. Now, of course, everybody has their flaws. We all. You do. see what I'm saying? But that's she six percent harp about some of the bullshit that you do. So you think that's a weird, real woman? That's a real woman. woman. She out there, t- she out there getting her life still. You know what I'm saying? She getting her money. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's a woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She ain't about. She ain't focused on the dumb shit. 
You yeah, know, yeah. oh, well, Laquita said this, yeah. and somebody said that she ain't worrying about that shit because she's like, man, look, I got my shit to worry about. Well, you know what I'm saying? I got a good woman. You know what I'm saying? She makes sure she go to work. She makes sure the house is taken care That's of. That's a real woman. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? She makes sure all the shit around the house needs to be to get done. She makes sure I get my ass up and go to work. Right. You know what I'm saying? Certain shit, we make sure each other shit gets done. So I got a good woman. So I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and by the way, I, I, I think, think every man will like and, a real, people, a real good woman. People need to understand, a good woman is not necessarily, oh, great sex. Now, that's a part of it. That's but a, that is not a good that's, woman. Yeah, you that's can find that's any like woman for great sex. 10% of the equation. You see what I'm saying? I, I, 10%? That, you you grateful. Cause I think that's probably about 7. I mean, what you about everything? You said 7? Yeah, because you can find that with any woman. Any right. woman's a freak if you pull it out. Well, I'm just rounding it off. Saying? So, no, I, I can't even give her that much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, no. Can't give her extra 3%? No. Man, you're not going to get there. Okay, fine, man. fine. 10%. 10%. All right, you, got on, you, got yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But that's what I think people need to understand. Just because a woman can, you know, do this, this, and that. No, that does not make her a good woman. Well, what makes her wifey material, though? Because that's like marriage, planning marriage, planning weddings and all that. So a real good woman, what makes her wife in material though? You to been, endure. To endure married, the tell bullshit us. over time. To endure what? The bullshit that we put on the table over time. I, uh, <laughs> I can answer that. Now, that's if, a if whole she other show. If she, if she can deal with all the bullshit we dealt with, uh-huh. and she you still there, ain't fucking around, still there. Still there. man, you better put a ring on it. Yeah. You better put a ring on it. I mean, that's true. You should. Because if you don't, Somebody, Somebody else will. And it's going to be a red ass, ass rock. And you're going to be like, oh my God, then it's going to break your ass down and it's this big. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm telling you, bro. Hey. But what if she wasn't a real woman, though? If she ain't a real woman, you're going to know that. you going to know that. you going to know that? How you going to know that? you going to know. you going to know that. Okay, we're going to know. about woman. You know what I'm saying? You've been with a woman. A month or two, you yeah. gonna know, man. Yeah, what she really you gonna know? She really yeah, on the yeah, table. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. You gonna know? Well, yeah. You're keep, peeping, and you're peeping to see what she doing, and what she ain't doing, and how we, she doing, and what she ain't doing. Man. Right, right. I'm on you the know that. We gonna, gonna leave. We gonna leave on that note. That's it. We gonna leave. We gonna leave you on the table. Whether you're a real woman, whether you're wife from material, we still love you. All Tune day. in next week, real women. Yeah, tune in next week because we here for you all day. At the Kings of the Round Table. Yeah, I'm the Kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah.